Hello everybody and welcome back to Castle Defense here on the channel. We are doing a voiceover for this video because I recorded this footage about a couple of days before we're getting ready to leave. And I'm recording the audio right now and it's like three days before we're leaving. So just, you know, bear with me. Scheduling stuff, very difficult. <clears throat> so, huge thank you to everybody who commented giving me advice on how to position the cannons better, where to put them better because of the accuracy problems, putting them at longer lines. You're going to see me start by kind of putting them in places where it should have better range, but also the ending is just great. It is the definition. This game is very difficult, and if it wasn't for everybody's help, giving me tips, giving me advice, literally playing the game on, like, other websites, saying you might want to try it here playing the game out themselves and being like, hey, don't use this tactic. Be careful of this. Um, you know, these towers are literally worthless. It would have taken me hours longer to complete this game. And, you know, with all the stuff happening because of the move, these things were just nightmares. You're gonna, it's just so bad. It's not bad. It's just, it's, it's, it's a rougher game. There's not a lot of options. It's not like the balloons of the world, you know? So, this, uh, as you can see there, I actually screwed up. I was playing this after a massive headache because of all the stuff going on and housing stuff. The housing stuff's been the best. That's been the easiest so far. But I just want to basically just show you guys. So, I found this little spot here to be a very good location to just basically hit as many of the slower moving powerful uh tanks that are driving by as possible but then after like i think six levels it starts taking multiple shots to even destroy the like those ones and then after eight levels it takes multiple shots to destroy the fast ones i think and I, a bunch of you guys were saying use the regular tanks and just put them in the right location, but I was not getting any luck with the regular tanks. They just, they don't deal enough damage fast enough, and they don't shoot fast enough to be consistent. I know some of you succeeded in it. Massive respect to everybody who did succeed using the normal tanks. And, and honestly, some of you were like, it's, it's so much easier with the other tanks, and it's like, I get it. I truly do. But... <laughs> this game, I usually am not a big fan of like heavy hitting f builds because they usually lack the speed that I, you know, want. I mean, right there, you just saw it. If I had speed there, it would have hit. But in this game, I just needed to get these things off the screen as fast as possible. I had to get rid of these tanks as quick as possible. And now you're starting to see me actually use the advice that people were recommending me do with the end of the long you know the long lines and like <laughs> just watching the castle take like one hit of damage every single level was agonizing this game has multiple it's not, i can't remember who recommended it to me i appreciate you if you want to go on the, into the comments and be like oh my idea go right ahead um and i'll shout you out in the beginning of the next game in the series but this game man it was like it's, it's such a simple game right it's three towers no upgrades three tank types 10 levels but it it was like wow that might honestly be one of the most difficult games i have completed on this channel and it's such a simple game that it's like it, it's, gonna, it's gonna get worse. The games are gonna get crazier and more difficult. And now you're gonna start seeing me realize that I'm actually starting to make some consistent amounts of money. And I'm actually making money so fast that I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the towers that will provide, you know, trying. I'm trying to avoid allowing the fast ones to get by the slower ones. And it's it just, wow. But honestly, huge thanks to everybody. Huge shout out to you guys who watched the video, who liked, who commented, who gave me advice, who said it wasn't worth it. You know, just I appreciate everybody's comments on it. And um, 
that was honestly part of the reason why I wanted to get this video done before we left, was that I wanted to let you guys know I did beat the game. Uh, it only took me two more tries. And I think I told a couple of you in the comments that, as you can see right now, like this, the faster ones I think are taking more than one shot. Yeah. So, I told some of you, I actually got to level 9, I think about a week and a half after I started playing this game. And I had to stop because of stuff coming up with the move. So I wasn't able to finish it. But I took a screenshot of level 9, and this isn't even close to what my level 9 looked like on the screenshot. But it is just absolute... It is impressive how much a simple game can be difficult. And this actually is a perfect example of what the older games are going to be on the channel. Because there are older games that you'd think would be easier because they're older games. But usually the simpler a game is, the less chance you have of, like, exploits or overpowered towers or overpowered, you know, tactics. It's like the original BTD, but even the original BTD, the Dart Monkey, was strong enough. This one, you just had, it was, I guess BTD 2 would be the closest to it in comparison because you had to make sure you put the towers in the right location. Flash tower defense games are a different, like, just different type of game. <laughs> they will sometimes put you into such an interesting position for these games. But you're going to start seeing me, now I'm just getting nonsense. I'm like, I, I got to get as many of these towers down as possible because wave 10, the longer, these waves at the end have just been so long. The last three waves, I think, are longer than the rest of the game by themselves, one at a time, basically. But then level 10. And just watch this absolute scramble to an ending. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Double uploads are probably coming uh, within the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to start live streaming, so we're going to get more videos on the channel faster. And thank you all so much for the support. I guess this will be like the, I don't know, thanks to you guys special. I don't really have an 100 subscriber special. I'm hoping to do one. 200 subscribers are approaching very quick. So right now we're just going to focus on the thank you part. This is the thank you to everybody in the comments and for you guys for watching. Watch this ending. You're, you're, I see the fast vehicles start to get ready to come. They're tanks. I don't really know what they look like cars. But I see them getting ready to come through and I'm like, oh, I need to like find a way to trick these things to hit the fast ones on the back. But then they're off. And it's like, okay, okay, I gotta grab this, grab the heavy tank, I'll put it here, sure, whatever. Okay, maybe, can I buy more than one tank at a time? Oh, I can. Okay, I just have to click the top thing to the top right every time. Put them down, just put them down. Cancel, go, go, and buy. Get another one. <laughs> just do it again. But this time we'll put it at the end, and hopefully it'll take advantage of... And then just, I had like two left. Bye, everyone.